So hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to extract the monthly time series for enhanced vegetation index that is EVI. So EVI is enhanced vegetation index. So EVI is used to monitor the health of the vegetation cover. The especially is very useful to monitor the dense vegetation cover compared to so compared to uh, NDVI, that is a normalized difference vegetation index. So EVI, that is enhanced vegetation index, is very useful to monitor the health of the vegetation cover. So in this video, I have show, I will show you how to extract the monthly enhanced vegetation index using our modus image and co convert uh, those files into a CSV file format. So now to extract our monthly enhanced vegetation index, first we have to define our country's boundary. So to define a country's boundary, I have uh, defined a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection, United States of Department of State, large scale international boundary, simple 2007. So this code is specifically used to refer, so we used to import our international, that is uh, world level countries boundaries into our earth engine. So next we are you specifically we're defining a variable that is uh, Brazil. So we are choosing a particular country called Brazil as our study area. So to define a study area, I have to define a variable called Brazil equals to countries dot filter doubly dot filter dot eq countries now and output as a Brazil. So from large scale international uh, boundary polygon of a uh, world level boundary uh, country boundary polygon, we are specifically selecting our uh, study area that is a brace. You can choose uh, any country as you wish. So to now to add this layer to into Earth Engine, I have defined a map dot add layer. That is, we are referring to Brazil. That is a variable of a study area, and uh, this curly bracket refers to default visualization parameter. That is the that we used to show the, the default visualization parameter, the colors, color of our layer. So I have uh, set as a default, and output as our output as Brazil. So to center this layer, uh, to center this layer, I have defined the uh, map dot center object and Brazil. Brazil refers to our study area, that is our variable Brazil. So the next, next is to extract our monthly enhanced vegetation index summary for our Brazil. First we have to define or to import our uh, imagery into Earth Engine. So to, in order to uh, import our imagery into Earth Engine, we are using, uh, so to, uh, to specifically extract enhanced vegetation index, we are using this image collection that is refers to our modus vegetation, uh, that is our, that is our modus uh, enhanced vegetation uh, band. So we are using specifically this code in order to import our modus uh, enhanced vegetation band. So I uh, defined a variable called variable modus equals to double dot image collection modus and this is a modus data and this refers to enhanced vegetation index band. So we are specifically dot select EVI refers to we are specifically selecting the EVI band that is enhanced vegetation index band in modus data. And next is we are filtering with a specific time series from 2012 to 2016. So to uh, have uh, to set a specific time series, I have uh, set, I've used a dot filter date 2012, January 1 to 2016, December 31st. So next is this uh, this specific function, this codes are used in order to convert our system start time data, data to a calendar form. So generally it is in the, the system start time, it is in a computer recognizable uh, format, date format. So in order to convert it to a human readable date format, that is to a calendar format, I have so used this code that is map dot function img and I've defined a variable called d. So d refers to date and double e dot number and img dot get system start time. So this uh, this is our default. Uh, the data will be in the form of system start time, that is computer readable format. So to convert to a human readable, that is a calendar format, I have uh, used this code. So now to next is uh, we defined a variable called m refers to month and the uh, next variable is uh, y w dot number refers to year. So uh, next is written img dot set 
and uh, returns as month and year. So this code is specifically used to convert our system start time data to a calendar format. So next I have defined a variable called months. So in order to list our uh, the month, the sequence of a month, I have uh, defined a variable called months equals to w dot list dot sequence. So 1 to 12, that is from January to December. And similarly for uh, to list our years, that is a list of years we are required to generate or to extract our enhanced vegetation index. I have defined a variable called years, w dot list. We are listing our uh, years of, uh, from 2012 to 2016. The next set of code I have defined that is a variable by year month equals to w dot image collection dot from images. So this specific code that is used to convert, used to extract our enhanced vegetation index to extract the, the mean or the average uh, mean uh, mean value of, of uh, enhanced vegetation in the index for both yearly, yearly uh, wise as well as monthly wise. So in order to extract the mean value of enhanced uh, mean value of the enhanced uh, vegetation index both yearly wise as well as monthly wise so for that i have defined a variable called by year month equals to w dot image collection dot from image so we are referring from years so for years refers to y and similarly for months i'm referring as m so we are using uh, that is we are using dot select refers to EVI that is our uh, EVI pan and dot mean so we are uh, the mean value so the mean value the mean uh, in V that is enhanced vegetation index for monthly as well as for yearly ones so we have dot uh, selected dot select yearly and monthly so you will uh, receive the you will extract the information of uh, both the enhanced vegetation data in monthly as well as yearly ones so you can able to compare the difference, the difference or the changes in this enhanced vegetation index in both uh, yearly as well as monthly wise. So next is we defined a variable called projection. It refers to projection. So you can it's, uh, you can see that this specific code. So this specific code that is used to uh, this you can see that this specific code is used to extract the projection details of uh, the original image. That is our original modus uh, image. The projection detail to extract our original modus uh, projection details of our original modus image. We are using this uh, particular script. That is, we defined a variable called projection equals to w dot image modus dot first dot projection. So the next is the next most important uh, important code is that. So this is our most important code. So to apply this uh, the monthly the monthly information that is uh, the mean the mean uh, enhanced vegetation index the mean and ma mean value of the EVI both yearly and monthly wise. So to extract our monthly and uh, monthly and yearly NVI that is enhanced vegetation index using uh, using our region of interest that is our region of interest is defined as Brazil. So to be specifically using this study area in order to extract the enhanced vegetation index, uh, enhanced vegetation index of this particular study area or our region of interest called Brazil. So here we defined a variable called uh, EVI Brazil equals to by year month. So by year month refers to this variable. That is in this variable we are converting our the daily data, daily uh, the enhanced vegetation index data to monthly and uh, monthly and yearly uh, yearly data the mean uh, nvi data to a monthly and yearly data so we are using similar to that by year we are using that function that uh, function from uh, converting our daily data to monthly and yearly and dot map function img so to extract those data so to extract those data based on our that is to extract the nvi value uh, based on our region of interest, we had defined a study area that is Brazil. So for that, I have defined a variable called feature equals to Brazil dot map function f. So you can so you can able to see that we have attached uh, some uh, calendar dates, calendar uh, dates uh, that is date and uh, months. 
and here. So now we have defined a feature. So Brazil, we are selecting because specifically choosing the study area to extract our enhanced vegetation index for this particular uh, particular study area. And we are selecting with the uh, when we are attaching our calendar date, month, and year for the extraction. So finally, we arrive. That is, we arrive. This code is specifically will arrive. Up to where we will finally extract our monthly and yearly uh, value of our enhanced vegetation index using our study area brace. And next is we are define our uh, reduce mean. So and uh, this is our spatial resolution that is 250 meter, and projection that refers to a projection detail of this. Uh, data that is a modus by uh, EVI EVI band data the projection details of the EVI band uh, details of that uh, EVI band so at last uh, to export our NVI that is enhanced vegetation index so as a CSV file format we have to define to export as a CSV file format of this uh, extracted NVI data that is enhanced vegetation index have defined export dot table nvi brazil output as brazil nvi brazil and file format the exportable the ex, uh, there is exportable file format is csv csv file format so let us run this code uh, go to this option called run script and click run script So now that uh, it will be available in the task section of Earth Engine. So click task section, this uh, this one. So now we can able to see this is EVI Brazil that has that is our enhanced vegetation index for Brazil. So go to this option called Run. Click Run. So now we can able to see that uh, a new window has been popped up. This window that is used to ex convert the export of our NVI uh, data to a CSV file format. So the task name is EVI Brazil and it will be uh, exported to our drive that is a Google Drive. And we can also uh, choose a specific folder for this file. And uh, file name is uh, EVI Brazil and the file format is CSV file format. So run this. To, to export it, uh, go to the option called run, click run. So now we can able to view in the task section as the process is being run is running you have to wait for some time because there's a the last set of data data are involved so from 2012 to 2016 you have to wait for some time so it will be available in the task section of our earth engine Now we can able to see in the task section we have our EVI brazil that is being exported and that is our EVI data is being exported as a CSV file format. So it will take some time. So uh, suppose in order to reduce the time consumption, you can also uh, set the time from 2012 to 2013. And also uh, set your filter date to 2012 to 13 in order to reduce the time from converting our uh, EVI data to a CSV file format. So for a bit, this is a large set of data, so it will take some time in order to convert our EVI data to a CSV file format. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, extract our monthly enhanced vegetation index using our Earth Engine. And we are using our modus, uh, modus image, that is the EVI band, that is enhanced vegetation index band. And uh, last, we have shown you how to export our EVI, uh, EVI as a CSV file format, that is Enhanced Vegetation Index Data as a file format. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.